Link Load Balancing Link Load Balancing allows you to share the bandwidth of traffic if you have multiple internet connected gateways. If one gateway is not available, the internet traffic will automatically be routed out through the other gateway. It adds resilience to your system and eliminates downtime. Navigate to Network, Configuration, Interfaces, and you will see the interfaces available on your SmoothWall. For this demonstration, we have already set up an external interface for an internet connection. For more detail, see our video, Setting Up Interfaces. In our example, we are adding a second internet connection and setting up link load balancing to manage the load across both. The second internet connection we want to set up is plugged into port 3. Click Edit and change the interface to External. Rename the port to a logical name and click Save Changes. To set up the port using DHCP, click on IP Addresses and Add New IP Address. In this case, we will set up the port to DHCP. Link load balancing will make a decision on how much traffic to push down each connection based on the relative values you enter in the bandwidth field. Here we will enter 50. Enabling connection monitoring enables automatic failover to another interface. It also shows the connection status on the SmoothWall dashboard. Click Add and the interface will be configured. When we return to the interface, we can see the connection already has an IP address. Returning to the dashboard, we now see that there are two internet gateways. The green tick indicates both connections are working. There are now two internet connections on this smooth wall from different internet service providers. We want to load balance the internet traffic, and so now we need to create a link load balancing pool. Navigate to Network, Configuration, Link Load Balancing. By default, there are no pools configured. To create a new one, Click Add New LLB Pool. Enter a logical name in the pop-up. Targeted Bandwidth allows you to use the maximum bandwidth available, or choose User Defined to specify a lesser amount capping the maximum available bandwidth to use. You can choose to add a comment. Click Add, and your new link load balancing pool will be available to use. Clicking on the name of the pool reveals the section where you can add the individual connections which make up the link load balancing pool. Click Add a new connection. Status is enabled by default. In Local Address, you can choose from your available ports. In our example, we want to add ISP and ISP2, so we will select ISP and click Add. Repeat the process until you have added all the connections you want to be a part of your pool. The interfaces are added, you can see the bandwidth specified in each interface, and that they are enabled. If multiple users are browsing to the internet, the newly created link load balancing will now split the traffic between the two interfaces. It's possible to set the default interface choice for the smooth wall by navigating to Network, Configuration, Source NAT, and LLB rules. Select your default choice for local traffic from the drop-down menu. On a new system, this is set up to use all available connections, which is fine for most cases. You can select an individual interface or choose a specific pool from the list. Click Save Changes and this will become the default for people connecting out to the internet. It is possible to create exceptions to the default rule below. See our video, Source NAT and LLB rules for instructions on how to set up specific access rules. Mm -hmm.